I just looked it up. The first iPad was released in 2010. So this means it took Apple 14 years to add the calculator app to the iPad. I think it was the most requested application that people were asking for on the iPad and people thought, why the heck is this not available? Even the, the calculators that we were able to download from the App Store were never working great. But it wouldn't be Apple if they would just plainly add the application now to the iPad. Of course, they had to do it on the next level. And it is really next level. When I watched the release of this, I couldn't believe it. So that's why I downloaded the iPad OS 18 beta to my iPad Pro 11, fourth generation, and I checked it out. Well, and the results have been interesting. Let's dive into this together. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. All right, I got my 11 inch iPad Pro here. And here we have the calculator application. Let's open this up and you see here my testing. And this is the example that we saw inside the announcement that I couldn't believe that this will work. And let's just create a new note from scratch to see how good this actually works. So it, it looks very similar to the Apple Notes app and we will go into the Apple Notes app later in the video where we want to test the calculator as well. Be aware, this is obviously the very first beta version that they just published and there will be bugs, but I'm still surprised how good this works. So let's try to replicate this as good as possible as it was before. But what is really key about this image are the different variables that they added there. The X, the G, the A and the H in order to calculate the Y, all right? So what this indicates is that if I actually write down any variable like, like let's do X and I give it equal to some number like five, it will recognize this now that X equals five, right? So if I do now A 30, it will do the same for A. So now if I say X plus A equals, it should take these two variables and make the calculation out of it. So you see already here, there's a red box around the A. If I tap on this, it says unknown symbol. So, so it seems that it has some, uh, some issues recognizing my handwriting. See, now it took it, tried it and failed again. So, <laughs> We can, let's see if I copy, let's try to use another symbol. So let's make here an A, a small one, and now make X plus A equals, and it still doesn't recognize it. X plus A equals. So it's the X that, they, that it doesn't recognize. And now it works. Okay, so you see, how many times I needed to do this. And it becomes worse right now. As I say, it's beta, obviously. They will keep improving it, maybe uh, with all the data they are collecting now by trying people trying to solve problems. Obviously, what really works well is when I make a simple calculation like this. It recognizes it. If I say divided by two, it recognizes it times three. Okay, see, this works very well. The moment we use the variables that we had on this image and that's what I was really interested in, it starts struggling because I think it struggles to recognize font letters versus numbers. Let's try it again, what we have on this image. X equals 10 M seconds. A equals 30 degrees. G equals 9.8 meter per second square and h equals 0.3 meters. So these are the numbers that we see on the image. Now let's make the calculation. Same issue again with the a. It doesn't recognize my a. I don't know how else I should write the a. So another thing that I recognized is when I move this to a different place, sometimes it works. See, now it works. So it's exactly the result. So that's really interesting. So now let's do the A again, if it recognizes the A. It works as well, see? So it's really the, sometimes I put it there. 
it doesn't recognize it, but if I put it below. So I think it needs to be in chronological order in order to recognize what this is all about. So let's see if I can keep going and say this is now why. No, it's not working because I would have expected that this is now the result here. But well, at least we get exactly what we have on the image. And now you see there is a comma instead of a dot as I'm in Europe here. And we are using commas to show the, the numbers or in Germany. In my opinion, this is amazing. So I can really write up the variables and then make complex calculations like this and get the result there. The danger is when I tested it the first time, it didn't recognize this properly and showed me some random numbers that I cannot be aware of in complicated calculations like this or more complicated calculations like this. If the result is true, and that's a bit of the danger there, but it's the same if you use a calculator and you mistip things into the calculator, always think twice about if this is working. What I really think is awesome is that it recognizes now the meter per second and then also puts out the meters in the end as this is now our height, right, the Y. So this is really amazing. So let's go to now to Apple Notes and try the same. Let's do something here. So let's say X equals 30, A equals 50, H equals three meters, meter per second. Well, it doesn't matter. So now let's see what happens if I calculate all these together. Incompatible units. Of course, because I'm using plus, it's not working with the units. So now if I fix the, the units, and I add an M. Now it says, what is this? Well, it's an X and it's 83 meters. It's actually working. Isn't this awesome? So that it doesn't recognize the moment I make a change like this, it doesn't recognize it anymore. It should now give me the syntax area again, incompatible units. And uh, the moment I fix this, it's working. I think this is really awesome. See, there's, I can remove the answer now and now I can keep working. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this update? Isn't it amazing that we not only get finally the calculator with all the, you know, the scientific calculator and all this natively on the iPad, which really sounds like a joke after 14 years, but they really added this amazingly. And with the new Apple intelligence that they're adding there, I can just imagine all the amazing things that we can do in the future. Unfortunately, it will take until 2025 until we get the proper Apple intelligence uh, rolled out there. But this are already huge steps forward. And also thinking about all the updates with the dark colors and so on. I really like this, but I think this was the most important one. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so I can catch you up in the next one.